Look, I don't care what you're on about. Vita is not better than Stealth. Stealth is just way much better than Rita. Rita sucks. Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, sorry. Just debating uh, the finer points of Stealth and Rita. And by the way, Rita sucks. Anyway, today's video is something a little special. Um, because we are coming out of the studio and we have oh, a massive box to review. So that can be sorted in a minute. So roll those credits. <laughs> Right, hello. Right, we have made it downstairs. Um, apologies for shaky camera movement. Um, I'm filming filming this on my. <laughs> oh, brush me. This is the fifth time I'm trying to record this, so you know what? That's an easy staying in. Um, <laughs> and that one's staying in as well because I'm not doing any more takes. So, in lockdown we couldn't go to the cinema i upgraded my home cinema system yada 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 blah de blah de blah and for ages my atmos speakers have been doing my absolute heading so for quite a while i've been running with these now these are perfectly okay but they don't give the best uh, atmos experience and as you can see, they're not the right angle because they just keep slipping. So let's just pop that back there. So for quite a while, they've been sitting up here. So one's been up there and the other one's been up there facing up towards the ceiling. Not exactly the most ideal situation uh, because it was putting stress on the top of the TV. They're not exactly heavy. They were, yeah. So, I did a bit of digging. Now, these were original, these are Pioneer S11s. So, they're not exactly kicking out a fantastic amount. Oh, max power, 150 watts. So, not the world's best. But, I did a bit of digging. And, I decided on these. These are... The Wharfdale D300s, absolutely amazing. I have taken them out of the box and they are set up. I didn't want to bore you because honestly, I could not fit them on the um, table upstairs. I brought these from a company. Let me just get over to the laptop. A company called av.com. Now, this video is not sponsored by them in any way. I brought these myself. Um, and these are absolutely amazing. These are certified as Atmos speakers as well as just box standard speakers. Um, they have been set up. So, we'll do the grand reveal. Ta-da! So, these are the Wharfdales. These are the D300s along with my um, Diamond 9.1s. I have taken the little um, covers off them because they came with some really, really cute little covers like that. I can just slip back on when I align the holes. Giggity. Okay, I can't find the hole. Story of my life. Uh, so, yeah. So originally, obviously, the S11s were up there. So I had to reboot all my cabling and attach them down here. Now, at this moment in time, I haven't run, I haven't rerun, should I say, the setup process, which I'm not going to bore you with, with all of it, but I will quickly show you... Um, 
and this decides to work speakers so we need to go through the odyssey setup again because what my avr does which is this little beauty down here it will send pulses through the speakers and this little microphone here on its tripod will translate all their speakers are and also configure them for the size of my room so it takes eight points of measurement from the sofa all the way around certain bits so you can see one in the center two three four five six seven eight i'm not going to show you all of them this takes a good 20 minutes but i will show you the first one just to demonstrate how it goes so just bear with me one moment while i set everything up okay so slight jump cut later We've got the microphone set up in his first position. Excuse the mess, I couldn't be bothered to tidy up for the filming. So the microphone is set up in position one. So I'm just going to back away and then we will just show you the first test zone. Pre warning, it can get a bit loud, so people with earphones on, um, prepare yourselves. Just turn it down a little bit. In five, four, Three, two, one. Right, okay, let me just grab the remote. So the collaboration has been done. Okay, so now I need to pull that out. That's finished. And now, there we go. It is now applying the room corrections and hopefully figuring out where all the speakers are this can this isn't a hundred percent accurate um process but when it's all finished which we're close to close to getting on to now you will see the measurements 75 78 81 oh there we go and that is set up complete Nice random photo there of the best launch coaster in the UK. Stealth, by the way. Don't tell anyone, but Reese's crap. Ha! Right. And I'm knackered. So that's the Wharfdale D300 3Ds and a little demo of the Philips Hue system as well. So I will cut here and slightly future Rachel will appear back upstairs now. Oh, and I'm back. Wow. Um, so there we have it. I hope you all enjoyed the little video. Uh, I'll say a little, I think it's ended up about almost 10 minutes long. Um, quick shout out to my Kofi donators. Becky, as always, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Tash, thank you very much. If you would like to support my work, then you can over on Kofi, or is it Kof Kofi or Kofi? Someone please tell me. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say Kofi. Kofi.com slash Adventure Rachel. Links will be down below. So, until next time.
these little words of wisdom. I'm going to change it just slightly, just so it's gender correct. But never trust a woman who, when left alone in the room with a tea cosy, doesn't try it on. And on that note, bye.